Exotic Gaming here, and with Alpha 20's fourth dev stream recently released by the Fun Pimps, I figured today's episode will discuss what was revealed during the stream, along with some of the environmental updates and weapons updates to Alpha 20. If you find any of this information helpful, please consider subscribing, and we'll start with the environmental updates. Textures will have a lot more detail with higher resolutions and a new shader system is being implemented to make things more simple within the game's graphical engine. Just look at how detailed this score pack is compared to the last one from Alpha 19. Here's the side-by-side -side comparison with Alpha 20 on the left. This is one of my favorite parts of the dev stream where they discuss the new look of irradiated zombies and how they implemented it. Wanted to have an irradiated look that just looked more internal. If you ask me, they did a pretty good job. Later, they focused on burning zombies as well, showcasing the internal fire coming out rather than the skin burning itself. Continuing with the environment updates, the devs discuss the new tint mask shader that give a lot more variation to the game, which is uh, just a big visual improvement. This system allows a lot more variation in the colors of items in the world, and you can use this to differentiate your POI from someone else's. Along with this, they let everyone know that they now have colored sleeping bags. This is a huge announcement. You no longer have to sleep in your friend's use sleeping bag on accident. Coming up in the next few shots are new debris models that were showcased during the stream. They show how the game can be more immersive and less blocky due to the new detailed models that were developed. These models were shown exclusively in a model POI on how they can make the game more immersive feeling. You can see where um, using these meshes, it makes the scene look a little bit less blocky. With this before and after shot, it's pretty easy to tell which one looks more realistic. Next up are some new art models that are being added to the game. A lot of them are reinvented to look better, or they are just brand new models themselves. I really like the truck models personally. They reused the model and just made a bunch of different trucks off of an ambulance. It's really cool. These are some new plant graphics that I found really cool, which kind of sounds lame, but I'm really sick of the old style of plants that my friends like to just plant all over my bases when we play. <coughs> Jingles. Here's a brand new safe that's ready to be broken into and provide nothing but $50 of cash to spend at the script club POI. And these are some brand new toilets that are ready to be unloaded upon after a long day of eating stale food and rotten cat food. And look what we got here, the new models for iron spikes and wooden spikes along with the power generators that are coming with the new alpha. This is the only image of the wooden spikes you're gonna see, but they look a hell of a lot more realistic than the old ones. I'm so happy they're redoing the bows in the game. These look a lot more realistic. On to guns. Here's the Desert Vulture. And here's the Tactical Assault Rifle. Looking as slick as ever. Next we got the AK-47. I really like the shovel handle for the back. I feel like it gives it more of a survivalist feeling. And here's the Hunting Rifle. I'm kind of intrigued by the, the can of food or whatever in the middle of the site. That's interesting. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but I guess you're using your environment. And it's the lever action rifle. It's a little uh, clunky looking. I really like the soup at the end. Dev showed off its animation too. And then, uh, yeah, the lever action. I was trying to find some reference for this. I always kind of went back to Evil Dead, the Army of Darkness at the very end, where Ash is like flying through uh, H Mart or S Mart. Yeah, Chad had some fun with that. It's kind of hard to see the, the lever action because if you go any higher, it's just going to obscure the screen. So we didn't really want to go too high with it. And here's the M60. It's brand new model. Apparently it was one of the most difficult they had to develop. The shovel handle on the back really shows that off. Here's your standard pistol with scope and suppressor, I think. For some reason, whenever I see the SMG, I just think of GTA. And the soda, the soda can on the top of the weapon really tops it off. Not really sure how I feel about that one. Next up is the pipe weapons. The devs showed off a lot of these weapons firing. And one of the main features they talked about was slowing down the reloading. The uh, direction on this was to make it so that it's very difficult to load all these weapons to reload them. This is fun because there's a um, some secondary animation on it. There's a lock that's kind of on the side there. That screwdriver on the side is pretty damn cool. Here's the pipe revolver I showed you a little bit earlier, the guy struggling with. 
And finally, the pipe rifle. This gun has quite the reload. It's quite animated. It's the rifle. These are all really fun to make. Just kind of having... Like, well, make the reloads really long. <laughs> all right. How can we do that? And finally, the pipe shotgun, which you all probably have already seen. I still think it looks like a snake. And the devs ended by talking about third person mode. So right now we have, this is what you currently see in 19. Third person, you can actually aim up or down. But when you're moving the character, you see the very stiff upper body. So try to uh, remedy that in this next video. Or you get to see, um, you can actually now you can aim, you can aim up, aim down. Uh, this is going to be on all the ranged weapons. Right now there's a, a bit of work to do to kind of finish out the set. But, and then as you're walking, you actually have a little bit of a weapon sway, kind of get like a run going with it. About how many dev streams there are, uh, Lathan? Uh, is there two There's going to be two more. Two more. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to start doing some playthroughs. And that's all I got for you guys. If you enjoyed the episode, please consider subscribing. I'll be covering the next two dev streams when they're released as well. You guys have a great day. Doses.